Yes, everybody should come to Salmon. Come on Saturday, March 7, come on Sunday, March 8, to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the march from Selma to Montgomery. Hundreds and thousands of people are coming from all over the nation. Some people returning from Europe and from Canada. More than 100 members of Congress will be there. President Barack Obama will be attending with his wife and two daughters. President Bush will be there with his wife. What, let me ask you this. Take us back to that day. I saw a documentary where you talked about packing the backpack. Was we always wondered what was in the backpack, but you told us what was in the backpack. Well, but on Sunday morning, 7, 1965, as we were walking across the bridge, or preparing to walk across the bridge, I thought we would be arrested and that we were going to go to jail. So in my backpack, I wanted to have something to read. I had two books. I wanted to have something to eat. I had one apple and one orange. One apple and one orange wouldn't last that long. I had toothpaste and toothbrush. I wanted to be able to brush my teeth. Wow. So when we commemorate, is there any part of Selma that we're missing? No, I don't think there's any part of Selma that we'd be missing. But it won't be a repeat of the state trooper tramping us with horses and, and beating us with nightsticks. There won't be any people that have been left bloody and unconscious on the street. It's going to be orderly, peaceful, and we're going to have state troopers there that will be there to protect us. Okay. And Secret Thank Service you. and Capitol Hill Police Officers. All right, spread the buzz. As the neighbor said, that's the way it is. Don't get in the way, don't get in trouble. <laughs> but Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King Jr. inspired me to get in trouble good trouble and necessary trouble and I've been getting in trouble ever since.